Hey, what's going on, Cancers? Butch Taylor here. I'm going to do a one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Um, <clears throat> it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, all energies can be reversed. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Always feel free to comment down below. And I just got a new deck, so I'm going to be using that today. Uh, the Santa Morte. I've been actually trying to get a hold of this deck for a while. I finally got it, so pretty excited. So, Cancer, let's get it. Okay, so Cancer, the person that we're dealing with that I see in and around you, um, this is someone from your past. Now this is someone um, I feel like you, you, you still think about, someone that you exclusively think about, somebody that you wanted to be with, someone that uh, you wanted things to move forward. But I feel like in the past it didn't really, you know, we, we, we really don't have this working out. Um, you know, I feel like it didn't, it didn't go where you wanted it to go. Um, it didn't feel like it was, it was right. We got the magician in reverse. And I feel like you kind of lost lost faith in the whole ordeal with that strength card in reverse uh, that Leo energy I feel like you just felt like it was going you know you were going to get your heart broken here but I don't feel like that's the case um, what I do see is something that you may not even be aware of I don't feel like this is over we got the tower card in reverse I feel like the person that you're dealing with, we got some Pisces energy with the moon card. I feel like they have a really hard time um, bringing their true emotions to the surface. You know, I feel like they have a lot of love for you. And I feel like this is something that they're not quite used to. They're not quite used to those feelings being, um, you know, out in the open. I feel like they have a hard time sharing. But I feel like they wanted the same things as you did. You know, I feel like you guys were on the same page of what you wanted. I just feel like it was hard for them to step out of how they usually deal with things. Like I said, you, you, you let it go because you felt like it was going to end up in heartbreak. But I don't, I don't see that as the case. I don't feel like this is over. Could be dealing with a Taurus. I feel like this person makes logical decisions based on, um, you know, stability and balance rather than, you know, following their heart. <coughs> this person is very concentrated on stability. You know, they focus on stability. But I feel like they've been feeling a lot of imbalance lately because of the fact that they don't have you 
still around and they they don't have you in their life. I feel like this is going to be the turning point for them. This is going to be that point where they realize they want you in their life and they can't be just focused on stability. They can't be just focused on making logical decisions because at the end of the day, love isn't really logical. So I do see some new motivation for them. And I do see them reaching out to you. You know, I do see communication coming. Like I said, I feel like the only reason you gave, you know, you, you went and moved on from this is because you felt like they weren't on board. You felt like they weren't um, able to give you what you wanted. You felt like they didn't really have feeling for you at, at all. But what I'm seeing, um, that's not the case. I feel like they have a lot of feelings for you, like I said, and I feel like, you know, maybe they just needed that time to reflect and realize what they're truly missing out on. Because like I said, with the tower card in reverse, um, that indicates this, this isn't over. You know, I do see a falling out of some sort, but I don't feel like that's end all. You know, I don't see you getting your heart broken. I feel like this person, they truly are on the same page as you. They truly feel how you feel. But I feel like this person has a really hard time of bringing those feelings to, to light. You know, and I feel like this person is worth the wait. You know, they're getting their shit together. We got the three of wands here. They're getting their shit together. They know what they want. They're starting to feel that imbalance, that Libra energy. They're starting to feel um, that void of not having you in their life. So I do see, like I said, I do see them coming back. I do see them, you know, making a real effort here. Got the Eight of Pentacles. So I do see them putting in the work. Like I said, I do see them coming forward. I do see them putting in the work. Um, I see a lot of happiness for you guys. Like I said, the cards are telling me pretty clear. This is somebody that you still want. The only reason that you kind of backed off is because you felt like they weren't giving you, you know, they weren't giving anything to you uh, that would warrant you sticking around. You know, but I feel like it is worth the wait. I feel like they are coming around. Um, also the Empress. So, I mean, they have a lot. Not only do they have love for you, but they also have um, a lot of really strong mental connection with you as well. Um, I feel like you guys are on the same page. I feel like they truly wanted to tell you how they felt in the past, but they just couldn't get it out because, like I said, they are based, you know, they live in a base world of stability, logical, you know, logical thinking, that sort of thing. And it's hard for them to break free from that. But, but with that absence that you left in their life, that had them at a balance. And they know why they're out of balance because they're, they're missing out on you. You know, this is something that they know they should have took a step in. And I feel like even when, even in the past, when this all kind of started, they wanted to move forward. They just couldn't tell you. It's like those situations where all you got to do is open your mouth and say the right things. And they just didn't do it. They didn't know how. Like I said, they are going to reach out to you. There's some new motivation here. Like I said, they're out of balance, and they know why they're out of balance. They want you in their life. So I do see them coming back here. And like I said, it is worth the wait. Uh, we got the sun card. A lot of happiness. You guys are very um, compatible. You know, your, your intuition was right in the beginning when you first had met this person. Or, you know, like I said... The hard part about this is the fact that I feel like you didn't want to let go, but you let go because you didn't feel like it was it was going the way you wanted it to. You felt like that that was the tower moment, and you felt like you would get your heart broken if you if you waited around. And 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 we get to a point when we kind of weigh the options, like do we stick or stick it out and see where this goes, and possibly get our heart broken because we have invested more and more time into this, or do we just cut ties? And I feel like you cut ties because. You weren't aware of how they truly felt. But you will be aware. Coming up, they will let you know. Like I said, we have some Taurus energy there. Um, we got some Libra energy. 
as well as, I mean, it could be some Pisces in there as well. Um, like I said, when we have a lot of pentacles, a lot of earth. Um, you know, Capricorn, Virgo. But like I said, I, I do feel like they are going to reach out to you. And I feel like this is something that was really meant to happen. Um, and we also have some Leo energy on there as well, some fire. Um, like I said, I mean, it's... Sometimes we feel like what's best for us is to move on, but then we, we truly don't move on. Um, we're still holding out for that hope. And I feel like the part, there is a, that part of you that still hopes this will work out. Um, because you really truly have those feelings. And like I said, you, you know, with that four of, uh, the four of cups, I feel like you're still, you know, you're still thinking about that person. You still want to be that person. That's your person. You felt it. And like I said, they are going to reach out to you. And I do see a lot of happiness coming. But, you know, sometimes we meet people that are the right person, um, that have a hard time telling us how they truly feel. You know, they don't live in a world where, you know, emotional connections is is something that they're they're used to. But like I said, they're feeling that void, and, and I do feel like they are going to come back around and make that communication and let you know how they truly felt. And I do see a lot of forward movement then. Um, but that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.